So this section is about how you map your contacts or your networks, because we all already have different kind of contacts internationally, and we know about some networks, or we have been to some performances in organizations around the world or festivals that we know. Um, so it's about getting clear about what what do you already have a connection to, and which networks are out there that's easy to access and easy to to use. So what we're going to start by you, ask you to do is to actually sit down and and, and contemplate um, who are your contacts and who what is the most important festivals and organizers within your specific field, because it's very different if it's dance or it's new circus or it's theater. Uh, so you cannot just look at everybody else. You have to be conscious about what is your own platform and, and where, what is the perfect circuit for exactly what you are doing. There's a lot of, of more informal, formal network within the performing arts communities um, that you can access and be a part of. You might already have some from if you have been studying abroad or if you have a special kind of niece that you are interested in, you might actually already have, it can be as loose as having a Facebook group of people that you can ask advice. This is kind of the first informal part of a network. You might have networks uh, via the fact that you are part of a union. The Danish Actors Association, for example, has a big network of other organizations. So has the playwrights. Try to look into what kind of, of, of things they can offer in these networks. There's also some management networks that's, that's easy to use. We have some more formal networks like the ITI, which is a, a big organization which has centers locally, nationally in different parts of the world. Great um, toolbox to use if you are interested in a particular uh, country and you want to know more about what's going on in that country. It's not a network you can become a member of as such, but there's a lot of knowledge-based stuff. The big network that a lot of, of people are using as a beginner's network, you can say, is the IATM. Uh, which is an European informal uh, network where everybody can become a member and it's quite uh, inexpensive and that's why a lot of us use it. Uh, it's a platform where you can meet other people. A lot of artists are also participating in this network. Uh, it has discussions. It meets twice a year and has a lot of discussions into what is art and how is it created today in Europe. So it's a very uh, easy, uh, interesting uh, point of departure. There's also the ISPA networks, which is a more professionally uh, uh, network uh, geared at, at selling shows and connecting. There's more specific kind of networks, um, and you will find a link below for 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 some of them. Uh, for example, there's a network called Face, which is focused specifically on new circus and street art, uh, art in unconventional places. Um, it's a network you can only become a member of if you have a space, actually. Um, there's a network for, for dance uh, houses, um, and there's also networks for, for, for music theater, for example. So it's just seek around, see if you can find a network that suits you, and see if that's the right place for you to, to work from and, and to investigate uh, your peers in, in this industry. What we're talking about here is finding a gateway into actually knowing somebody, because networks is about knowing knowing somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. So if you go out there and spread your energy enough and, and connect to people, in the end you will have the right gateway to the people that you really do want to have uh, contact with. Mapping who you know, who you are interested in knowing, what are the peer festivals in your area could be a very inspiring and, and good exercise to, to do. There's a different kind of, of, of festivals organization. So if you need help to, to be, get a little bit inspiration to into which festivals could be interesting exactly for you. Of course, you can ask your peers here in Denmark. It's also a great thing to actually look at um, other groups that are performing in the same kind of genre or area as you, you are yourself. You know, look, where have they been performing? Where are the festivals where they actually already are presenting Danish work? But there is also network organizations where you can actually go in and search for what are the specific uh, festivals that are in my area that I could check out. When you have made your mapping, 
Then it's time to actually stay in contact with people. Uh, this is a, a communication thing, but it's it's important that you nurture the relationship that you are building. You have to to realize that you're not just selling a performance. You you are creating a network of people. You want to stay connected to the people who who you feel connected to in in the business, and that's a continuing t- thing to do. You know, you have to to keep putting your energy into this if you want to succeed with having the perfect network for you.